Good afternoon, YouTube. This is Econ K88, and Happy New Year. A little bit late, but better late than never. I've been pretty busy the last month or so, so I haven't had time to upload any new material. But I'm back in downtown Toledo, my hometown, and this is another bar and restaurant that has closed recently. This was Woodchuck's World Famous Burgers Bar and Grill. I'm on Erie Street in downtown. It's downtown Toledo the heart of the CBD that you see there. And this place had been here for many years. Uh, really hasn't, really wasn't doing well for the last couple years. Really when the economy collapsed their business just went down and there are too many bars in downtown Toledo regardless of what some people say. Obviously uh, this place didn't survive and there are many others that have recently closed and I think 2013 and 2014 are going to be especially bad years for restaurants and bars and retail because the job market is uh, not improving and in fact it's getting worse and food prices are just rising quite a bit. Just about every time I go to the grocery store I'm noticing uh, Bread prices creeping up, vegetables doing a little more than creeping up, they're jumping uh, double digits. Some things I'm noticing, uh, price of cashews and almonds and pistachios have gone up 50% or more just in the last year or two. And if you know why, feel free to post a comment in the video because I'm curious what caused that. So a lot of bars and restaurants in Toledo and probably elsewhere in the country are just barely getting by and when you start tacking on 10, 20, 30 percent increases to costs and you obviously cannot pass all of that on to customers who are already strapped or they just will either go somewhere else or they will stay home. So we've heard for years that downtown Toledo was just a thriving area and a lot of people believe the, the hype and they open these places in hopes of uh, getting in early. And it wound up disastrous for some. Now these benches and uh, garbage cans down here, this was not put in by the bar. This was some government money that was basically wasted in a city that has horrible roads they spent money to put this type of stupid things in and these benches are down here There's really no reason for them there isn't anyone here it's too cold for even the bums to hang out today so across the street here, this is what's known as the Erie Street Market, and I'll walk over there, get a closer view. This was also uh, funded with government boondoggle, touted as uh, economic development. And the only place that's uh, still open here is that Libby Glass outlet that you see. Superior Antique Mall is closed. Civic Center Promenade, I have no idea what that was, but it isn't, it isn't open now. And the city wastes hundreds of thousands of dollars a year funding this. Utilities, uh, they have a staff, they actually still have a director, I believe, that uh, I think I read that she makes 80 or $90,000 a year. And to do what, I have no idea probably just uh, political cronyism. So there's a close-up view of Erie Street Market. And I'll tell you what, if you speak negatively about this area, regardless of the reality, some people will just almost fight you over this. They will just say, oh, this is still such a great idea, and Erie Street Chowder House, that's out of business now, too, and it has
has been closed for quite a while. But they will argue day and night over this place, defending it, defending the uh, city, funding it, wasting hundreds of thousands of dollars that could be used elsewhere. And so here we have another empty building. And the beat goes on. So again, if you own a bar or a restaurant or you make your living from that, be cautious because the next two years are going to be rough. There are way too many bars and restaurants still in the United States and most cities. I know some places are the economy is doing well, North Dakota and South Dakota. I've, I've heard all about the oil fields up there and that's great. That's, a, that's probably a great place to own a bar right now. But here in Toledo and a lot of these uh, Rust Belt cities, it isn't. So I haven't done this in a while, but this is for my viewer, the Chuck 624. Erie Street Market, definitely worthy of a banana peel. So this is Econ Cat 88 signing off. Please comment and please subscribe. I always enjoy reading the comments to some of these videos.